Hello, I am Mohamed Samasin Fofana of the Young Africans Dream. I want to re echo a very important message from a mentor regarding the two types of economies and their impact on nations' growth. These are the knowledge economy and the religion economy. The rich and advanced nations in the world belong to the knowledge economy, while the poverty-stricken nations belong to the religion economy. The knowledge economy is the one that engages the brain, asks questions, relevant questions, and prefers solutions to challenges. The religion economy is that economy that blackmails God and places every responsibility on him. The knowledge economy tasks the brain while the religion economy norms the brain. Japan, for instance, is a knowledge economy. It has no natural resources whatsoever. But it is a prosperous nation and one of the richest in the world. At least six of every ten cars on the road of Africa are Japanese made. Japan is not a religion economy, but it is one of the most corrupt free nations in the world. Also, China is not a religion economy. But nations that ignore China today do so at their own expense. African countries fall under the category of religion economy. Majority of these African countries host most of the world's natural resources, yet are among the world's most poorest. Africa proudly wears the crown as the most religious continent on the surface of this earth, and also the poorest continent in the world with endless corruption, selfishness, wickedness, extreme hatred for one another, and other inhuman characters that go against the preachings of the very religions we fervently represent. Here is the irony. The two major religions in Africa, Christianity and Islam, originated from Israel and Saudi Arabia respectively. But none of those two nations fall on the religion economy. No whatsoever. One of the evidence of their subscription to knowledge economy is the yearly pilgrimages that generate for them revenues in billions of dollars. But hypocritically, some corrupt nations are comfortably disseminating nuisance to humanity with their globalization of religion economy. Africa has been tamed to write down or swallow everything we've been told hook, line, and sinker without questions. We can't memorize our way out of poverty, but we can walk away from poverty through critical thinking skills and innovation. There is a reason the Creator gave man brain and instructed him to subdue the earth. If you are a Christian or Muslim, who does not commit yourself to the pursuit of knowledge, your life will become a perfect reflection of some of these uninspired nations. There is a fundamental difference between spirituality on one hand and rationality or practicality on the other hand. There are times to implement spirituality to some issues in life and rationality or practicality to some other issues. One is doomed when one believes that every problem deserves spiritual salvation rather than rational thinking or practical salvation. It's an illusion to anticipate wisdom where people do not pay attention to knowledge. In life, you either grow or you swell. You grow when you allow yourself to learn, unlearn, and relearn. And you swell when you refuse to learn and unlearn.